Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to D-Digivolve quiz. Who makes a... Uh... So I need Tanemon. Do I have another Tanemon? I still don't know how to use this stupid... Okay, I'm just gonna look it up since... No one told me. probably something simple too. You just need to have it, you don't have to manually use it. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I have a uh, Tanemon. Let's load Sky with that. Let's get rid of it. Oh, I do have a Tanemon. Okay, cool. That one I can name quiz. Uh, then I need to move. Tanemon. Hey, Fox. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, here. I got space. I might as well move a few more. Space for one more. Let's put... Um, I don't know. Let's put Biomon in there. I have two Biomons already. That's fine. Okay, let's go back home. And then do the next case. cases it takes to rank up. Kowloon 2. Okay. Let's go help Wizardmon. Okay, you say the same thing. So again, I'm just going to go like a couple of screens and then go back. I don't remember where the last one was that was over here. I'm going to go back just in case it's like right there. But I totally feel like the game wants you to run to the end of the dungeon and then come back before you see it. And the forum, it was right there because there's like nowhere to go though. Neat game. I'm glad you like it.
You don't think he'd want to pay 50 bucks for a multi-game? It's got a lot of charm. <clears throat> well, that's good. That means it's got some potential then. There's a bunch of evil lowlife hackers and eat it, right? That doesn't scare you? Nah. We good. We got a squad. Nightmare 2, okay. I don't see any metal dots up there. Hmm, no, I think in the last time it was all the way at the end. That's right. So it wasn't over there. So we'll just run to the end and then run back. generally involve walking around. You notice scenery architecture more than anything? As long as you don't let your dreams be memes or whatever it is they say. I don't know. Something something. Meme joke. What up Pliskin? The sun is up. Thank you for thank you for popping in. Have you slept yet? Probably not. I think you sleep about as little as I do, right? Don't let your memes be dreams. Yeah, that's the one. Well, thank you for spending your last few uh, waking hours uh, taking the time to stop by. Pliskin could miss the FFX Wonderment. Yeah. <laughs> Zero sleep, Pliskin. Yeah, that's like me. I know that feel. The dream moves. I had a book on that back when I was doing my undergrad. For psychology. Hey, we found the metal. Without having to run all the way to the end and back. Glad you finally got to watch. Yeah, I'm really late for everyone. I'm surprised anyone stays up late enough to watch me, so I really appreciate it. Um, it's just my life was ridiculously too busy. I have too much going on. Even with no sleeping, like know I could always be doing other things like I should be doing more research and everything good I'm glad sky I need to join the discord sky can you send me the discord stuff I don't know how active I'll be in it but I need to I need to at least join it but uh Yeah, I just, streaming is a way for me to not be stressed out, sometimes. <laughs> oh, wrong way.
無理しちゃダメだよ、うん、続けていこう Thank you, Sky. <clears throat> I will, uh. I will do my best to show up sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can kind of show y'all really quick. So, whenever I said I had to read like 600 pages for my books and stuff for class, like, I'm not kidding. Um, I'll show you. this. So this book here is, uh, this book here is about 600 pages. Uh, it's on the, uh, the American faculty. The Restructuring of Academic Work and Careers. Like they had me read this whole thing in one, like in one week. So when I tell you guys I'm reading 600 pages of stuff before I can do my homework and there's other readings and PDFs and stuff I have to read too which are like 40 pages a piece. Like I'm not kidding. They really assign us whole entire books that we have to read. That I have to read in like the first few days of the week so I can do my assignments and papers for the rest of the week. So like Honestly, I shouldn't be streaming. <laughs> I really, I really honestly shouldn't be streaming, but like, I manage and I, I'm glad I do. I, like, I'm glad that I can, I force the time to stream. So, yeah, grad school is no joke. Depending on the program. Like, my program, holy crap. So it's a good thing I don't sleep. Oh, there you are. Alright, so we got that one done. How do? Uh, I don't know. And it's the, some of the most boring reading too. Like, it's not even interesting stuff. I am interested in the field and everything, of course, but the books they assign are so boring. Holy crap. Knowing that I'll be rich and famous? I don't know about rich and famous. The uh, field of higher education is a pretty tough one. Like, if I can become, you know, a director of my department or a dean or something, yeah, sure, I can make a $200,000 a year salary. Famous? If I can get people to, I still need to get my freaking op-ed piece. Now, I haven't heard back from the people yet, and you can't like, if you're submitting an op-ed piece, you can't um, you can't submit another one to another place until the other place has accepted it or turned it down. So I'm just like sitting here twiddling my thumbs, waiting. I need to get this thing posted up, and I'm just like, oh, it's so annoying having to sit on my hands waiting. But I need to get that done too. Oh my gosh. It's just so much going on, but the field itself is a uh, is an interesting field. I won't be rich for a while. I can become famous through my uh, publishings, but I gotta get people to accept them first. I could be a famous dean with a cool stream. Well, uh, my colleagues and all that probably won't know about my streams because I don't post them on my Twitter and Facebook for school that I hardly use anyway alright so I'm gonna go up this one and then I'm gonna come back down Xeno Gears Turkey. I miss the Xeno Gears Turkey. Become famous on Twitch. Uh, my time has passed to become famous on Twitch. Everyone apply for our college. Our Dean streams games. <laughs> that would be a nice advertising angle, I guess. But then that would make them want to invest in more game rooms and less on faculty. 
I mean, I guess if the student activities budget is ran by the students and they choose that, sure, fine. But a lot of them aren't ran by the students. And students, most students don't want more game rooms. So I would be perpetuating a problem. What if a picture of me comes up? Like, if a picture of me comes up and they see it, okay, but like, it's nothing I broadly advertise. Like, I don't go on my school Twitch and be like, hey guys, I'm streaming Digimon now, come on in and we can talk about, you know, issues between faculty and administration in higher education and the errors of conflict and communication therein. Like, I don't do that. Or we can talk about finance and how a budget works. Alright, so it's not in the beginning area, so I'm actually going to have to explore this place for once. Do they have a time window to become famous on Twitch? Academic waifu discussion. <laughs> um, the reason why I say my time to become famous has passed on Twitch is because of the fact that I have already hit the spot where I've had hundreds of viewers a night. And I've already hit the spot where I've had like a couple thousand people in here. I can't push my Twitch channel. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I don't think it's right for me to push my Twitch channel because I'm so focused on my career right now. Like, you know, the only reasons why I'm streaming now is to stay sane from grad school and for speech therapy for my throat. Outside of hanging out with y'all, of course, hanging out with y'all is what I want to do. But honestly, if I wanted to be optimal, optimal with my time, I shouldn't be streaming. But it's it's good for me to do to practice my voice rehab so I can get back to work. Um, you know, it's, it's good for me to relieve my brain stress and all that. But at the same time, like when the summer comes, like come June, when my capstone project starts, y'all probably won't see me for a couple of months, depending on how intense it is, because I'll have to really focus on that. Same with, uh, when I start my PhD, like when I start my PhD, I might not stream anymore. I had already quit streaming once I started working full time anyway. Because I was working full time and I was doing grad school and I couldn't manage streaming in there too. So it's like I'm way too inconsistent and it's always been that way. Like even in my undergrad I was doing 18 to 22 credits per quarter. And so sometimes I just had to take weeks off. So it's like my window has passed which is why I won't be famous. What up Jer? How you doing? <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I just, I don't know how it's going to go. So, you know, once I, because I'll be working full time and doing a PhD, like, I don't see a feasible way for me to be doing a PhD and working full time and streaming. Like, maybe, like, once a month or something, maybe once a week, if that, and it'd be only for like a couple hours or something. So, I don't know. It would just, uh... It, I, I just don't see how it will work out. So that's why I say my time to be famous has passed. Plus there's a better streamer out there anyway. Sky. So y'all should follow. Invest in her. You know. She's got a way better stream than I do. Um, it's just. I, I had a time when I pushed for really hard for my stream. I hit all the numbers and everything they wanted. And they still didn't give it to me. And now my life is just too busy. I can't do it. So. You'll be fa not famous enough for the both of us. I'm going to get you there, Sky. Don't worry. I do it because I'm a gamer, a hardcore gamer for the Twitch bucks. Nah, not anymore. Can you help not be famous? <laughs> Your PhD isn't worth giving that up completely. <laughs> I mean, of course, I want to be here become a layer and push for a law to add four more hours to the day so I can stream it. <laughs> I need these four hours. We're gonna just change the entire concept of time. Sky, it's Cerulean Skylark, the mod in the chat right now. So, <laughs> you went to the wrong field. Yeah, I know, right? I should have went with lawyer instead of higher education administration if we can change the laws of physics with words. 
Hey, Kita. What's up? How you doing? Your work actually let you free for once. That's awesome. Oh, gosh. No. No, not here, please. Why? Not again. Pliss, why? Having a vision. Hire me to do professional voiceover announcing for the streams. Every time someone subs and resubs, I'll chime in with a sultry personalized message. <laughs> I mean, you know. And that doesn't mean I won't be lurking in the chat. Of course. Oh, you out of here, Archaic? Alright, man. Take care, dude. Enjoy work as best as possible. Hopefully it's pretty easy. It's been a long set of days, weeks, and months. Yeah, it has been. Hopefully this finally calming down for you, though. Yeah, I mean, I'll still be, you know, even if I, if I can't stream anymore, I'll still be in chats. I will probably, I mean, let's be real. How often do I really chat? Outside of just the random comment that you know, it's not important and completely skippable. So, you know, <laughs> I might as well not even type anyway. But, I mean, I'll still be in chats for sure. I just most likely won't be streaming because I'll really be just... I'll have a chat open for noise, but I will be completely absorbed in research or something. You know, maybe after I finish my PhD and stuff and it's just working and researching on the side then maybe I'll come back to streaming, but... And again, I don't know how it's going to go yet. Maybe I start my PhD and it's just like super fun and really easy and not time consuming. In a perfect world, that would be how it is. But, you know, you never know. But I'm just anticipating now based on... Based on how grad school is, uh, I can only intent imagine how much more intense my PhD program would be. Um, so I'll still be like in streams and stuff and... I'll be around. You can still hit me on Twitter. I won't be completely gone for the world. Maybe. It just gets worse from here. Oh, that sucks, Kita. It'll be like this for a few more months easily? Wow. That sucks. All right, so let's do this one. PhD sounds easy. You'll probably have so much time. So much time. It'll be so easy. I've got a new case from Mireille. Oh, this doesn't have much in the way of concrete details. In that case, go straight to Mireille and ask her what she wants. Okay. This struggle will be real. <laughs> you need a raise? I'm not surprised. Oops, get out of there. If you're here, you must have taken up my case. I figured you'd naturally come given your close ties to Digimon. Anyway, let's get straight to business, shall we? You've already been to Kowloon and Eden before, yes? Yes. Then that'll make this conversation much quicker. Eden is filled to the brim with hackers who view Digimon as little more than mere tools to do their bidding. Of course, said bidding is rather malicious and illegal in nature, to put it simply. That's why I've sought out enough. Uh, I sought out your help on this case. I'd like you to go after one such hacker, and let's say discipline them for these terrible hijinks. Hopefully, as one of their own, they'll learn from your example to treat Digimon much more kindly from now on. Uh, I doubt it, but okay. Hmm? Not every hacker might be so bad, you say? From the way you talk, I take it you met some that make you so optimistic. Then, well, I'll take your word for it if you really do believe that. That doesn't change the fact that there are indeed bad eggs out there, ones that abuse their Digimon and make them suffer terribly. So I would still appreciate if you turned up the heat on such hackers, so to speak. Okay. Thank you, I knew I could trust you to join me on such an important cause. I've already found an especially malevolent hacker lurking insi about inside Eden. This hacker seems to be somewhere on Kowloon level 2. This one seems to be a particularly nasty hacker, you'll know why. That's all I have for you now. Thank you again for taking up this case. Once you're done, come back here and report back to me. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. 
Uh, when you hear PhD, you hear crippling debt. Well, I already have a ton of school debt anyway. Like, uh, all my school has been paid uh, my own way with grants and loans and the few scholarships that I was able to get with my grad school or with my um, high high school GPA so uh, I'm already in a ton of debt if I told you all the number y'all would flip but I can tell you this the number of uh, the amount of money that I owe for my school debt already already exceeds what most people make a year and uh, I'll be paying playing uh, I'll be paying much more when I do a PhD but I kind of don't really have a choice can we call you Dr. Jaggard? Oh, Dr. Jag. I don't really necessarily want to be called Doctor. I don't like titles. <laughs> Doctor, you need Dr. Jag to operate on my car. Hey, Glitchy. Uh, where, what are you getting my PhD in? Uh, so I'm not sure yet. I'm, I won't be finished with my master's degree until uh, August. Uh, I'll be doing my capstone over the summer, so I'll have four less weeks than most people do to finish it. Um, Dr. Jag and his Jaggernauts. Dr. Jag. <laughs> Dr. Jag. Uh, nah, I just... Uh, um, when I do go for my PhD, it's probably going to be something in... Uh, like international studies or something like that. Jagger Hakase. <laughs> Ideally, you want to get to a PhD program that will toss money your way to attend. Ideally, yeah, but I'm not. Ex I mean, that's definitely what I'm going to look for. But I'm assuming I don't get it and I have to pay my own way just because that's kind of what I've had to do this whole time. Oh, Dr. Jagger, Dr. Jagger, Dr. Jagger. Am I a man of the sea? I don't know the reference for that. I was a nerd in high school. I had a 4.25 GPA when I graduated high school. Um, I grew up in the ghetto. And so I figured rather than like dealing with people selling weed and everything else, I should focus on school and grades and actually get out. Oh, Xenogears reference. Oh, right. That's right. I remember now. I'm oh, sorry. I have a terrible memory. You're getting another vision, a banner above my stream. Please support my crippling debt or student loans. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't have like donation goals and stuff on the stream. I'm too old school for that. Same reason why I'll never have a bot. I'm too lazy to set it up and I'm too old school. Please be stuck up about it. You will have earned it. Nah, I don't want to be stuck up. Like I'm not going to sign anything Jagger PhD on the end or doctor or whatever. Like I'm doing this so I can help people out. Like... I want to help people, I want to help change the world, and I'm going to do it through my career. I don't want to be stuck up about it, you know. I'm I'm naturally humble about most things, except for my cooking. <laughs> That's like the one thing I'll playfully brag about. But, you know, I don't, I don't need titles or anything like that. What if I never pay off my loans? Well, I mean, I'll be... Uh, sorry, I should probably be fighting while I'm doing this. I can pay off your... You can eventually get loan forgiveness as long as you pay them off... Or stay on your payments for 25 years. You can get debt forgiveness, so they'll eventually go away. Who? Uh, I won't get arrested for not paying off my loans. They'll just garnish my wages. And I won't be able to do anything. They won't put you in jail, though. No. You'd say Dr. Scarlet, Dr. Skylark, PhD, Esquire. <laughs> See, that has a better ring to it than just like Dr. Jaggard. I'm so real. Yeah, you know. Okay, okay, but let's say you're at a fancy restaurant with Sky in Paris. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Someone starts to choke on their food, passes out, and the waitress screams out, "Is there a doctor in the house?" Well, I probably wouldn't hear her ask that because if I noticed the person's choking, I would already go and start giving them the Heimlich anyway. And if she did ask if I was a doctor, I'd say no. Sad part is you have to advertise yourself to be noticed and move around. It's great to be humble, but not to the point of going unnoticed. Well, I mean, like... 
I don't need to tell everybody. I don't mean I just I just mean like I don't need to tell everybody. Hey guys, I have a PhD. Hey, call me doctor on these documents. I don't need that. Just calling me Jagger's fine. Like I can have recognition without people having to refer to me as doctor. That's all I mean. Um I don't try to stay behind the shadows. Like the work and stuff that I want to do and the changes I want to make, I want them to be big changes so people will know how I've known that I've done them. But it's not that, you know, I need to have a big bravado about it. When did we go to Paris? Yeah. No, you're good for saying that though, Kita, because it's probably good for me to uh, be more specific with what I'm saying. Every note you make will be a doctor's note. <laughs> I can sign myself out of PE. I don't want to be Illuminati. Huh? You want me to stop misusing my Digimon and give up hacking? What are you going on about? The Digimon program's prime for hacking. I'm using it just as it was always intended. What good is a tool if you don't use it? Anyone in my position would use this for their own benefit. I see that look in your eyes. If you got anything more to say about what I do, you're just gonna have to fight me. Smooth operator. Oh, it's this stupid little Demi Debimon. So ugly. Yeah, I'll beat this little fake Ash. This little wannabe Pidgeys. Destroy him. <laughs> Alright, we'll Lightning Paw. Wow. Whoa. Sweep the leg. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that was easy enough. Right, Chompers is 16, Black Gautamon's 12, Sky 16. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. Shut up already. Will you leave me alone if I promise to treat my Digimon better from now on? Uh, I hate having to deal with people like you. Hacker seems to have repented. He has repented his ways. Oh. I should report back to Mide. There's no fear in this dojo. I know, I feel like the game, because right now we're doing pretty well. I feel like the game is just going to all of a sudden just smack us in the face with hard mode difficulty at some point. Because this doesn't really feel like hard mode yet. He has seen the light. <laughs> Repent, and ye shall be saved. You had to double check. Unless they had to, unless they like, changed the law re uh... When did they change that? Reverend Jaggard? Uh, no. Dr. Reverend Jaggard Esquire the Third. No, please no. My whole family is like reverends and pastors and stuff. I don't want to be that. Hold on, I have to see that. So yeah, there's no statute of limitations for federal loans, so the feds can attempt to collect them indefinitely. In most cases, you can't file bankruptcy uh, for student loans because that'll still follow you. Um, so you can be arrested if you have a court order regarding it. But it doesn't necessarily look like you can be arrested for just not paying. 
your loans. Because the story is about this guy named Aker, but he was arrested for a court order, not because of his loans. So yeah. Yeah, you, I don't think you can get arrested for that. I think that was just a misunderstanding of the case. Because he, he had a court order, and he failed to do the court order, so they arrested him for that. And he assumed it was because it wasn't for paying his loans. Quiz is at max level. Sweet. It's only in certain states. I didn't see that. I don't know. I'll look more into it, but as far as I know, they can't arrest you even in certain states because that wouldn't make any sense. Reverend Dr. Jagger, PhD, Esquire, streamer extraordinaire. <laughs> streamer extraordinaire, Reverend Dr. Jagger, PhD, Esquire. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Wait. Dean, streamer extraordinaire, Reverend Dr. Jagger, PhD, Esquire. Oh my. Uh. <laughs> Man, that's a big one. See, I might have to use something like that just to be crazy. But not until I win the Nobel Peace Prize. When I win the Nobel Peace Prize, then I'll have them address me as Dean Streamer Extraordinary Reverend Dr. Jagger, PhD Esquire. But not until then. So we got like a good 15 years, I guess. Yeah, in California, if you fail to show to court, appearance yeah so they can arrest you for not that for not following a court order or contempt of court regarding your loans if they get so bad it has to go to court but not necessarily because of the fact that you didn't pay your debt <clears throat> no trade market first and collect royalties <laughs> okay I'm done I'm fine with that Knowing how strong your bonds to your Digimon are, perhaps this end result was the work of fate. Hee <laughs> hee. Everybody loves that hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee, you should take that as a compliment. Can you get in on that action? <laughs> Everybody here. Well, I mean, you came up with part of the name, so I guess you're, you're entitled to half of it too. So you and Sky will have to split the royalties. That's a promise. A promise that I'll win the Nobel Peace Prize? Oh man. That's a tall order. But I'll try my best. Girl, such a waifu, yeah. Oh, you didn't think we were done with just this one hacker you took care of, did you? Oh, we ain't done. Sad to say, there's still numerous hackers out there who are mistreating their Digimon horribly. While you were out taking down that first hacker, I drafted up what you might call a hacker blacklist. Right now, there are 30 such outlaw hackers on the list. With this one, you just defeated, bumping the total number down to 29. Alright. <laughs> Glitchy. She does, huh? Oh, you feel that the number's rather high? I assure you, I arrived at this final roster after only the most careful of deliberation. Rest assured, you won't have to search for all of the remaining hackers by yourself. I know you're only one person, after all. On that note, have you tried out the Digi Farm yet? If you haven't, I suggest you do post so post haste. I've been hitting that farm up all day. What you talking about? The reason for that is because if you order the Digimon on your Digifarm to investigate, they'll find out where the other hackers are for you. Once their locations have been covered, I'll send them over to you right away as new cases to check. You can handle them the same way as today's. Don't understand as underestimate the strength of your bonds with your Digimon. You out of here? Alright, senor. Take care, man. Thank you for hanging out and kicking it. Big or small, each one will lend you their aid when you most need it most. So please do what you can to save those poor Digimon from the blacklisted hackers. I expect great things to come of this. Hey. You gotta hit the hey. Ah, everybody's leaving already? No! Alright. Take care, Sky. Everyone sleep well. If everyone who's leaving, sleep well. Thank you for coming out and kicking it. Um, tomorrow is up in the air. I don't know for sure if I'll be streaming tomorrow or not. Um, it's 50-50. I will let you know if I'm not, but it's totally 50-50. Uh, I got some stuff I got to take care of, so yeah, I might not be able to make it. I got, like I said, all that research and stuff, I might have to just take a day 
tomorrow to not stream. So, uh, but for everyone before y'all leave, make sure y'all are following Sky. Um, she is bouncing back and forth between Xenosaga 2 and Final Fantasy 10 HD. Um, either way, it's entertaining. Check her out, follow her. Tell a friend to tell a friend to follow her. Like for me, if y'all watch my Twitter, you know I blow up the, twi the tweets and the retweets. Uh, retweet that out as well. Tell people about the stream. Like all the love y'all show me. Um, and helping me get my stream as big as it got. Do so for her, please. <clears throat> Oh, you out of here too, Glitchy? Alright, take care. Thank you for coming in again, Glitchy. Hopefully you'll be able to hang out more often. But uh, definitely take care of work. <clears throat> Sorry. What up, the answer? You never leave, you always fall asleep on stream? <laughs> Sounds good. I appreciate that too. Even if you fall asleep with the channel open, I appreciate that as well. Yeah, everybody take care if you're sleeping well. I'll be here for a few more hours tonight. So, I ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> You've been falling asleep on stream. It's all good. This is the best stream to fall asleep to. Probably not going to be happening for a while, though. Uh, I'm doing okay. Doing not too shabby. Alright, so we're going to do some more investigating. Food. Yeah, I'm just now starting to get hungry. You're going to bounce in a bit? Made some headway in DS3. Finally got to the third area. Nice. Have fun cybering with the sleuth. jokes. <laughs> Shh, brain. Shh, brain. Okay, so they're investigating. Maybe they'll already find, find or maybe they will find some more of the hackers. <clears throat> you heard my brain. <laughs> that was just more... <laughs> So many comments. <laughs> Your max level? Yeah, that's right. I got that's why I was coming so I can digivolve you. Let's make you um Rinamon. The undead town. Uh the undead settlement. He picked up Trails of Cold Steel. It's not a bad game. Um, I don't know anything about Trails of Cold Steel. Let's go, Mamon. I need. I could make Frigimon. Who is that dude? Or do I want Ikakumon? That's Wizardmon. Have I played other Digi games before? Uh, only like Digimon 2 for like two hours. So, not really. Do I really want Ikakamon? I don't want Wizardmon. Maybe I'll just do this, dude. Ankylomon. Oh, yeah. Type free. Uh, Black Gothomon is gonna digivolve into Lady Devimon. I need Lady Devimon so I can have uh, the Mega Form to fuse with uh, Cerulark here. Because I'm trying to make Cerulark into Mastemon, so I'll need both of them. Um, I guess I could put Black Gothomon in the uh, farm, though, and take someone else.
Gomamon finally got a Mega in the anime? Took long enough. Oh, is that... That looks like Skull Greymon. I want Skull Greymon. And this one's a neutral type. So I think I'm going to take this one. Plus I need another physical. So we'll do that. That way I can actually be leveling someone useful in the thing. Um, Valier can't Digivolve yet. It's got to be level 30 for any of those. <clears throat> so that's going to take a while. Togemon's stuck for a while as well. Uh, I'm probably going to turn Togemon into Lilymon. Or maybe I'll do that one because she's a physical beast. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a turn-based Star Ocean game with a Persona-style party link. Oh. oh, okay. I think I've seen like a trailer of it once or something like that. Who's that? I don't know. Which one do I do? Do I do number one or number two? Hmm. Yeah, Lilimon becomes Rosemon. I think that's probably the path I'll go with Togemon. Maybe. I might go a different path. I don't know. Yeah, this is a fun game. I don't know who that is. I wish I could see better. Number two? Alright, we'll go with number two. The first is Skull Greymon. It seems like Skull Greymon. But it also seems like... Uh... Ankylomon can turn into... See, that one looks more like Skull Greymon, though. Because it's more bony. I think the other one is just kind of more of a, a, a dragon. Another dragon type. I don't know what that one is. Oh, that one's like the uh, weird, like... Oh, what are they called? The things in Digital Devil Saga 1 that you fight in that hallway with the... Uh... Things. I can't... Words. Stuff. I think that there's a sequel to this game. Hey, Vegan. Dreidel. Is that the Digimon? Because that's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> so I was way off if that's the Digimon. Pliss knows what I mean. In the hallway with the... Uh, there's the elf lady in green, and then you fight them, and then the big dudes come out afterwards, and they're immune to physical unless you freeze them. Those weird blue doll thingies. Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh gosh, which one do I do? I'm just going to do number two. Dorugamon. All right. Interesting. I regret everything now. Um, so we're just going to de-digivolve, <laughs> and then we're going to go with number two. So let's go back to this. Alright, we'll try again. You were wrong? Ah. That's right, so was I. So this Biomon can turn into Bertramon now. But I'm going to do this one because that's at the bottom of the path. I don't know what the difference is with the arrows, like if there's a difference in terms of strength, like the one at the very bottom is stronger than the one at the very top or what? Cubimon. Oh, we Naruto up in here. Okay. I can always uh, re-digivolve it. I have to do, like in this game uh, quiz, you have to like digivolve and then de-digivolve and all that stuff and go back and forth a bunch of times anyway. So rushing to Mega, eh, this doesn't necessarily need to happen. 
That sucks, Gumi. I mean, you, you gave away the secret, that's why. Okay, so Goblimon... Yeah, the hiccups. You can't, you don't have 50... Oh, that's Ogremon. We well, might as well, I guess. Might as well. But I'm gonna drop it back down. Because I want the first one. Alright, let's see. So then this Biomon, I will turn into, like, Bergemon or something. Or maybe that first one. What's that, Quagamon? I don't know. Cubimon seems pretty cool, though. Um, it was a Lalamon. Oh, so that one's Woodmon. So once it hits level 14, then that's gonna be the Digimon for... or... 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 for Avian. <clears throat> Excuse me. Black Altamon can't do anything yet. This Biomon can't do anything yet. They're doing their thing. Okay. I have space for someone in my reserve. Wait, really? You're a champion. But you only use six. Does the memory go up, or is this just because the level? Uh, must just be the level or something. Yeah, it's all good, Gumi. That, that's how she wants to do the stream and make the money, so, you know. Who are we to stop her? Who's Yokomon? Oh, you. Uh, Poyomon. Okay, I've got yours there. I've got all yours. Uh, we don't have that one. Cam, 10%. Cam 10%. Cam 10%. They all need Cam 10%. That kind of sucks. Oh yeah, that one I need a Steel Will. I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> you right? you out of here, Jer? <laughs> Call me Dr. J now. I'm not a great basketball player. You can't call me Dr. J. That's a big mantle to live up to. Take care, though. Sleep well, man. Yeah, I don't know why, Gumi. Alright, well, let's just take... Let's take Yokomon, I guess. Whoops. Put here. Ah. I don't own this game, but grew up on Digimon, the original Digimon cards and PS1 games. Should I buy Cyber Sleuth, or how does it compare? Um, your Digimon knowledge is way more than mine. I just kind of I saw the first series with Ty and all of them, and then I saw the second one. Uh, with the new characters and then I saw some of the third one like where they kind of fused with the humans or something like that or whatever I don't remember um, so I don't know much about Digimon but I really enjoy this game I think if you're a Digimon fan and from streams I've seen of this game holy he's big uh, from streams I've seen of this game uh, people who do like Digimon really enjoy it, so I think you'll like it a lot uh, if you enjoy doing cases and stuff. That's a lot of... The, the, the big thing people don't like about it, and I think it's because they just might not be a big uh, JRPG game players. Uh, the biggest complaint pe I hear people play is they get annoyed with the fact that you have to digivolve your uh, Digimon a lot, and then you have to de-digivolve them because... Um, for the example with Palmon, uh, you can start off with three Digimon, like Pokemon. I started off with Palmon. Um, she can, of course, Digivolve to Togemon at level 16, but my Palmon...
maxed out at level 15. So I had to digivolve her into one of the other branches and then de-digivolve her back down to Palmon again to increase her level max. So then I can get her to go up to 16. And so some people don't like that because you have to play with that so you can get their ABI and other stats up to where you want it to hit requirements for other things and stuff like that. Things and stuff like that because I can words really well. So, uh, yeah. I see you've been working hard for me today. Nice job. You two appear to be developing quite the unique dynamic, if I do say so myself. Kyoko's trying to play matchmaker. Alright, so now we got some more cases. Patamon's property in Kowloon 2. Alright, cool. This is like Digimon World 2, but 200 times better. Well, there you go. There is your answer. But I do think it's a game worth getting. Uh, it's enjoyable. I know the story pretty much. Uh, some things I didn't quite see. So I don't know the ins and outs of the entire story, but I know the gist of it. Uh, of course, that means we're, we're not talking about spoilers, though, because most people want to get it or are watching and don't want to know right now. Patamon's going to be in trouble. We must save Patamon. But uh, from what I've seen in the game, the late game and stuff, I think it's really pretty well done. The story is good. The story is good. Enjoyable. I think it's a game that's done well. For sure. <laughs> Quiz is like, I am Digimon. <laughs> Digimon is me. We are one. Ankylomon starts off with 700 health. Holy moly, I think I found my tank. Chomper's Zen has 742 health at level 16. Ankylomon's level 1 and has 700 health. That's nuts. A good nuts. Thanks for being there. Togemon's given us all kinds of stuff. Thanks for being there and putting me on this farm. Jerk. Here's an item. Take me back out. Uh, I hope we get some cases to extend our party memory soon, though. What a value. Have you missed anything? Um, I've just been doing the cases that we've unlocked from the farm and all that, so... Uh, nothing plot-wise. <laughs> you missed about two hours. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty much we're in the phase of I'm just finding cases, and so I'm doing those. Pretty much. What up, Icy? I guess I need to put... Um, do I have any ultimates or mega yet? Not yet. We're still very early in the game. I should put Yokomon in the party because I need to get 10 ABI, which I think is like 8 or 10 fights. Job apps are definitely important. <clears throat> Excuse me. When Ankylomon becomes that teapot, he might become unstoppable. I don't know if I'm gonna make Ankylomon the teapot. Can't afford to go to school like some. <laughs> I don't know how many people can afford to go to school, Valier. That's a very bold statement you're making. Watching duplicates at twice the speed. So semi lurking. All good, Icy. I don't know what duplicates is, though. I've never heard of that movie. Or show. Or whatever. Too cheap to want to take out loans to go to school? Okay, there you go. <laughs> that I can definitely understand, for sure.
because my grad school is basically all loans. So, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm affording to go to school. Necessarily. You imagine you went to school just to end up in debt? You know? They say to look at it as an investment in yourself. It really depends on uh, how fortunate you could become with networking, uh, a lot of luck, and career paths, and decision making, and how hard you work. And for some, it pays off really well. The unfortunate part is for the mass majority of people, uh, there's no payoff. Especially for those who go to for-profit schools. So it, it, uh, it becomes kind of bad. You'd rather just get a county job and settle at that point. Get in a job with your state or county is pretty good. Um, they can pay well. You can get set up with a good salary and uh, you know retirement plan and all that. As long as you're you don't get like wage freezes and stuff, if things go bad. But if you're living in a thriving community and county and stuff, that can work out pretty well. And you can make just as much money as people who go to school, so it can work out for you. One of your lesser known hobbies among your friends, aside from being a very avid poker player. Hey, I like I like to watch poker. I haven't played poker in a long time. Um, I enjoy to play poker. I enjoy playing poker, but I'm just not good at it because I don't play it much anymore. It's been a small way of movie buff. I tend to focus on movies involving time travel, immortality, and other science fiction concepts. Those are interesting movies for sure. Your last job was in government? You were working for the state. Wish you could have worked for Liberty. Liberty Mutual full time. You're a correctional officer? Ah, I got you. I don't know if that counts as a government job. Might as well give up and try to work for BuzzFeed. <laughs> hey Radix, what's up? Yeah, go ahead, Icy. Okay, there's the item. Good. You left because you hated Wyoming and the job? I can understand that. You know a lot of correctional officers, this is getting worrisome. That's funny. Must have been a drug heavy job. You were the worst correctional officer because the inmates loved you? Is that the... <laughs> I didn't know that was uh, that was how it worked. I didn't know how good you were at your job was how much they hated you. I thought you would want them to like you so that way it'd be easier psychologically to work with them to get on a better path. Time Crimes, one of your more favorite time travel movies because it's very much involving with the complexities of it, but not so much that you get a headache. It paints pictures as you go along in a way that's not insulting nor vague. Hmm. I'm gonna have to like write that down or something so I can check it out one of these years. That's how your coworkers look at it. But it's complicated. Oh yeah, it's definitely complicated for sure. But, I don't know. I feel like you can get through to people better if they don't hate you.
I like Ankylomon because when I was a kid, the Ankylosaurus was my favorite dinosaur. He's got so much help. Alright, my Digimon need to find me more cases or we're gonna have to like progress story plot, I guess. So I'm not trying to platinum the game, but I do want to do as many of the cases as I can. Doing these ones to get the medals is kind of tedious, but whatever. One of the movies, one set of movies are also a favorite when you can find them. Your favorite so far is Low. Never heard of Low. Time Crime, the base for Marvel Civil War 2. Long story short, you're never doing security work again, and now you're stuck living with terrible people in California. <laughs> yeah, security work can be tough. And that's like an understatement. Definitely an understatement. Oh, I always go there thinking I go through. Oh, your room's full. Fight time. Good luck, Radix. Forty-three damage. I like having a neutral Digimon though. That's good. Yeah, there's a lot of jobs that don't quite pay you for what they expect of you these days. It's all about companies trying to get more for their dollar. I, there's different reasons of, for that, of course, but speaking at the level of those who are just performing the job, it's definitely not enough for most people. For what's expected. Grand Rock 2. Hmm. I like that. Like, at the very least, um... There should be like free counseling for security officers because they deal with so much psychological stuff and they see so much. I think it would be good for them to have that. 